Hello everyone, it's Armstrong here from Mad Eye Miniatures and today I want to start somewhat of a new segment. I hope it's going to be a daily endeavor for me and the idea of it is be a man and finish what you started. So, like most of us, I have about a million of unfinished projects that I started some time ago, it could be a month or 10 years ago. And I just decided that, you know, since I started doing this YouTube thing, I may as well use it to finally finish some of the projects. So I'm starting with, you know, a couple of cars in here. I have this lovely, uh, I don't know what it is, track ripper. And I just give him a plow and really all I want to do with this guy is just to muddy him up and finish him. And for today I actually finished one car. I bought it in Argos. It was like a set of 24 cars for 6 euro or something like that. So those cars are of extremely bad quality. But to be honest, quite good for conversion or for terrain pieces. So I converted him almost completely before I started this even I get this idea. This is the engine from some other car, rocket rockets from Space Marine rocket launchers. This is some sort of coil from a computer power source. Again, some sort of uh, capacitor and a wheel from the same car that I took this engine. And I uh, replaced the back wheels with bigger ones. Painted it red with blue tinted windows. Uh, generally, you know, red, blue and yellow colors are the dominant ones. And uh, all the yellow splashes around the wheels and, uh, well, yellow brownish splashes around the wheels are made with use of uh, chalk pastels. I just grinded them down and used them as a pigment. <clears throat> and next one is this guy. I hope to finish him today or tomorrow. This was probably my second or third car that I ever started converting for Gaslands. I cut him in half. And I have this idea of having a soldier sitting inside. So I have this me in here. But then uh, I completely lost interest in it. It was just sitting in the pile of cars, you know, being mostly finished. So a couple of days... Two days ago I just grabbed it and I added this uh, plastic card squares and those flags and in here this kind of bomb looking thing. Uh, next thing, again one of very old cars of mine for Gaslands. I started, started converting this one, mm, well before, probably around the area of, around of this one. So it would be about well, over a year ago. And again, I just cut out the front. I make the engine Fini magic. And again, I lost interest in it. So the same day I started this, I just added some squares to it, uh, covered the windows and put the flags and the grenades on it as well. Those cars, of course, are still to be finished. They still have to be painted. And then I have this one. It's from the same box as this red car it's uh, I think that somewhere here I might have actually oh yeah that's how it looked before I started to chop it up so I cut out the front and of course this car is to be finished as well it's just painted I didn't do any conversions to it it was all orange so I stripped the paint I uh, cut it up ages ago and again left in the box so I took it out I gave it a big wheels on the back from those wheels are from some toy quad and in one of the previous videos I made this engine and this radiator so I decided to use it on that and I have this uh, I don't know what it is it's a piece from Adeptus Mechanicus sets but I really don't know what sort of piece it was it definitely wasn't a cannon it was something more complex I just cut it and make it a cannon and I added the exhaust pipes in the back they are just plastic rods and pieces of plastic sp uh, sprue just cut to size and you know uh, drilled in 
and of course plenty of flags and uh, bombs. Actually, this was on the, uh, this car was the first one that I actually make flags for, and those flags are extremely simple, and they are plastic, so they are quite durable. And now a little bit switching of a genre. I bought my wife bought me for Christmas unbought set, and the set comes with four pieces of legs. So I decided to build some sort of a uh, transport robot, maybe for my Necromunda sets. Although when I think ab uh, about it, I built it, you know, and it could be probably used as something for Gaslands, as some sort of walker. It's just a tiny, well, it's a bigger, bigger than a car, but not that massively bigger. So I have to go, uh, go and finish it and base it. And, well, yeah, next thing, I have this transport uh, uh, track for Gaslands. I um, disassembled it, stripped it, I added some decorations on it. And again, lost interest in it. And it's just standing there, you know, collecting dust for last six or seven months. Mm. And now something that I started again is a, I think, Chevy. Uh, DTX 35 Ford truck, sorry, Ford truck. And I love this model of a truck. It's just one of the really cool and brilliant looking car. Again, I disassembled it, stripped it of the paint and my interest went somewhere else. So I hope to finish it within the next 10 days. Now just looking around, oh yeah, my war rig. It was just a flat car, you know, just this front. That was the entire uh, uh, truck. So I extended the entire front to it. I added the boxes and I changed the wheels for something more substantial because the wing, uh, wheels was kind of weak on it. And again, I built this all. And then I started thinking about trailer and completely lost interest in it. So this is next project that I want to finish as soon as possible. And, oh my goodness, oh yes, this one. <laughs> it's uh, not exactly a car, but it's a trailer. I built it just out of a, on a whim. I decided, oh, you know, I have this, uh, I built the Hillbilly Mobile and I was thinking, you know, I, I have the, mm, I have the wheel wells for the wheels. So I can build something different, something that other uh, people playing Gaslands didn't build. So I built this one. And the only thing I have to finish on it is to paint the doors, uh, finish the, uh, finish the uh, wheels again, because they, <clears throat> they lost a lot, a lot of paint being you know, in the box and finish the little box over here around the latch. Oh yeah, sorry, I was covering it with my finger. And of course paint the ladders that I made from uh, all of the windows and the shape of the doors. Everything is made out of the paper clip. Just bent to the shape and in here, you know, some coils. I really don't know how trailers look. Uh, you know, all of the equipment that connect to the car, but you know, I imagine this being that. I never actually look even online how it's supposed to look. And then, you know, Next of my flying cars, this one actually have proper jet engines on the back. Jet engines are casts of one of the engines from like proper jet car from Hot Wheels. And I have him completely built. Only thing I have to do is paint the driver and do maybe some little more conversions to it and then paint the car. Again, I just lost interest in it and it was just collecting dust. And, oh my goodness, this is something that I really want to convert. I only thing that I did to it was to put a lash on the back because it was supposed to go with the trailer. I figured out, you know, post-apocalyptic family or something. And, you know, like, I love this car. It just, um, it reminds me of, uh, you know, something like uh, in the, oh my goodness, trying to remember the proper name. 
you know, the crazy Christmas or something like that. You know, when they was having this giant uh, Christmas tree on top of a car. So I really want to convert this one. And then I have this beastie. Again, one of my very first conversions. Yeah, it's it's being driving driven by Sid, the uh, slog sloth from the <laughs> Ice Age. Uh, the only thing missing from this car, I have the tombstone, I have the spikes in the front. Only thing missing is the gun. I have a gun mounted on it, and it's it fell off. And I never came around to actually fixing it. So this one only needs a little fix and it's gonna be ready. Then I started on this little Volkswagen Beetle conversion. It was supposed to be some sort of, you know, like mm, futuristic engine on the front or maybe a flying one. And again, I started it, I cut everything to size. I have the base cut in half for it and everything and again my interest just went away and that's how it looks right now and what else do I have oh yeah I was thinking about the boogies so I I found this car some time ago it just looked like a jet on wheels and I love the concept and then I was thinking you know this plays in here on the roof just fit perfectly to just have minigun mounted on it so I made the minigun and like always my interest just went and yeah it's not even drilled out because I want to put the driver inside and then I need to mod it up I like that it have all the you know kind of uh, racers stripes and everything so I would probably leave it as it is paint wise just you know made mod it up dirty it up maybe paint the brown undercarriage metallic because I'm not really happy with this brown undercarriage and then I have plenty of disassembled cars I have in here a Mini and I don't know a Ferrari or Lamborghini this I don't even know I found it outside <laughs> I pick it up mm, I have this uh, terrain car again it's disassembled I don't know where I put the rest of the car. I have this thingy. Don't know what the name of the car, but I want to make it into flyer, you know, like kind of futuristic retro flyer. And I have this guy. And I really don't know what to do with it because I just tossed a ton of paint on it. Like I was just messing with the paint when I was doing it and it doesn't look horribly, it doesn't look pretty, it's have everything, like it have painted in uh, the interior, like it have painted driver. The wheels are modded up a little bit, I think that the only thing I really miss on it is to model it up, because it, it is striped, it is red, it is black, and it is brown, it was, the idea was to make it stripped, but to make it, you know, like, that someone is driving the same car, you know, with love and as much care as they can, and that they after each damage and everything they patching up the uh, paint job with whatever color of paint they have available well at the end of the day it's a wasteland so <laughs> it's gonna be probably quite hard to get some you know decent uh, supply of one color of paint so that was my thinking and then oh my goodness I have my chopper on that one oh, I have this booger it's a flyer with a undercoach at the bottom of a bone shaker. I had one bone shaker that I used, uh, uh, that I made a um, tracks for. So I decided to use this one. And the thing is, I converted it. I have it, you know, fully done, pretty much. And I painted it, and my goodness, the paint job. I failed on every single level at least in my own eyes so this guy really have to go again and be painted and redone okay I'm losing space on my desk and then a couple of days ago I finished building this guy 
and I'm just thinking how to convert it to Gaslands. <laughs> I have him fully built and he is, you know, nicely assembled, but I wanted to make it Gaslands. I don't think that they're gonna leave it as is as a plane. I think that again I'm gonna chop off the wings, maybe put them as a side as an armor, and give it a different wheels. But this one, uh, this one gonna be hanging because I really don't have proper idea yet. Whenever I have the idea, it's gonna come. And what else do I have to finish? Uh, oh, this one is probably one of my favorite that. I almost finished. It's uh, his Orkin as the Queen. <laughs> and uh, it was uh, me and uh, Gork and Mark, we were doing this uh, weekly challenges and you know one of his thing was you know something uh, completely outrageous like uh, bling and whatever yeah so I just decided to make an Orc into Queen. <laughs> You know, like Queen of Britain, you know, fancy dress and whatever. But I decided that, you know, having this kind of Elvis hairdo would be perfect, you know, to work with that. And the thing that I, that this model missing is, you know, finishing the weapon, because I don't know why I really stopped. And getting the teeth done and the eyes, and it's gonna be probably done and, you know, ready to be put on the shelf and left alone. So yeah, yeah. For everyone who who was thinking that I'm a Gasland modeler, I'm not. I'm I'm actually coming from 40k, and Gaslands are well. This is what I'm doing right now. And of course, I have my demonets. I have well, demonets. <laughs> demonets are the least of my uh, problems. I have only about 40 of them, but I have dozens and dozens of 40k minis that I have to finish. I have about just around me right now, not in the other room. I have about three, maybe four hundred different minis that I have to finish converting or painting or something. And in here is next of almost finished project and I don't know why I didn't finish it yet. It's... Uh, this guy is a member of Carnival of Chaos for Mordheim. And uh, I made him like... Uh, Oh my goodness, I don't remember. One of the mutant which have the cane and is throwing the cards around. I for completely forgot his name, but you know, of course, mutated, nurglified somewhat. So only thing I really miss again on this mini is, you know, finishing the eyes and maybe a little bit of, you know, green into the skin tones. And really that's all that mini needs. And then proper clear coat. It's gonna be done in the base, maybe just a little bit, you know, more care because there is like white sticking out through the base, which I don't want, but that's my master of the carnival for my carnival of chaos. And more of disassembled tracks and stripped down tracks and stripped down bogies like Volkswagen, Volkswagen. And I have this guy, like, I put the driver inside and, um, yeah, again, didn't know what to, where to go from this point. And then my 3D printed pieces. I have a couple of 3D printed bogies and I have 3D printed crew and stuff like that. And I really want to finish it. So if anyone wants to join me and do this, you know, daily small updates on what they did, I invite you to join me and to subscribe to my channel and you know share this with community. So my project for today that I finished is this guy. Like I said, it's today's project, and I hope that you know this is gonna help to inspire you to do the same. You know, finish at least one mini a day from those which you started already, <laughs> not the new ones. And yeah, that's it for today. So thank you very much for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Press the notification bell to receive the information whenever I post something new. And have a lovely day, everyone. Bye for now.